Welcome, everybody. Can you feel it? Yeah. You know what you guys brought with you tonight? Wow. All of you are perfect, special, spiritual beings, energy, and love. That's what tonight is about. Love for the planet. When it's love for the planet, it's love for each other. Brothers and sisters. That's what we will be tonight when we leave. Brothers and sisters, continue that. Um, we have a, what I call the sacred fire. It's an indoor sacred fire pot. And when you offer something to a sacred fire, something you don't need, we will have an opportunity offering tobacco to that sacred fire tonight. Where you offer that tobacco with your left hand and release something you don't need, that's something which is preventing you from being that spiritual being that you are. The sacred fire creates a vortex of energy. And that's our love energy is going into that fire and up through the roof and into the universe and dispersing across this earth mother, that white light of love energy. This is a Mother Earth healing ceremony, but when you do this, we heal ourselves. I go through every step of the ceremony with everybody. This is not the new age, it's the old age. This is 10,000 years old. We're going back to what we had. And isn't that nice? Isn't that nice? The connection to the Earth, the connection to the sky. These ceremonies are important. These ceremonies are needed all over. These ceremonies invite everybody. In a few moments, I will be doing the prayer to the sacred seven directions. Before that, we will light the fire. This is my talking stick. When this talking stick is planted on the Earth Mother, it means I speak from my heart and I speak the truth. <clears throat> but it's my truth. Choice is divine. It does not have to be your truth. But keep an imaginary bucket beside you and that which resonates with you or you think you might need in the future, put it in that bucket and take it with you. Anybody that says their truth is the absolute truth should raise a red flag. It's your choice, and the choice is divine. When I say my truth, my teachings, I spent four years receiving teachings by an Ojibwe elder. And my truth said some of the teachings were wrong. When my elder lit a sacred fire, he put a fence around it. A fence that only him and his firekeeper could come into. <clears throat> this fire is our fire. This sacred bundle is our sacred bundle. This is a circle, sort of. <laughs> <laughs> it's like an egg shape. And what happens after the egg breaks, there's a bird. So, that was my truth. It wasn't his truth. That fire is ours. Brothers and sisters, we're family. I was told that the fire was the man's job. That only the man could light the fire. I've changed that. My truth, and you will see four matches circling that fire. I will ask two men and two women to come up and light this fire at the same time, because it's our fire. And when we combine the masculine and feminine, when we take away, that's my job, that's her job, that's where the power lies. Us, masculine and feminine, working together. I thought I was going to have to bring up my feminine side, but one, two, three. Fire, ceremony, 
is ours, the circle. We become one entity. The circle is one entity. There's an energy in this circle. Nobody is in front of, nobody is behind. We are equals. Totally equals. I'm sorry for having to stand up, but somebody's got to do this. The ceremony is not about the facilitator. The ceremony is about us. The facilitator just serves the purpose. This is about the ceremony. This is about you. This is about you and what you can do when you leave here. If anything that happens here tonight resonates with you and you would like to learn more, I will give you my phone number. If you think you would like to facilitate one of these ceremonies, I will spend time with you. We need ceremonies all over the world. And there are ceremonies all over the world. I've been in Stonehenge to a ceremony. I've been on top of the tour to a ceremony. But we need more. We will be singing 4,000-year-old songs tonight, and each one has a valuable teaching, and we will go through these teachings. These songs give us everything we need. <clears throat> Again, I have offered the four medicines to this sacred fire. So let's get the party started. <laughs> I do not want to select the two women and the two men that are going to light this sacred fire. But if I could have the four volunteers step forward and help us light this fire. That's where the healing lies. That's where they want us to be. Now, if you all want to pick up the matches, and at the same time, I would just drop a match into that fire pot. Guys, 
are always slow. <laughs> <laughs> Another one of my teachings was that women, their job is to bless the water. So I'm going to ask for a, a female volunteer to come up and say a prayer for the water. And you don't have a choice, Mr. Cameraman. You need to come up here, please. <laughs> Chalice well represents feminine energy, and the White Springs well represents the masculine energy. A spring runs from the Tor in Glastonbury. That used to be a temple for Archangel Michael. These are magical waters. And we always offer them for the pot for these ceremonies. It's a blessing of the water. Think of this. Think if this was the last bottle of water. No one. Where would we be? We need to nurture and look after our waters. This is a prayer to look after the waters. And again, it's masculine and feminine standing side by side. Like that. <laughs> Could you come over here, please? We're going to do the, the prayer to the seven directions. And with each one of those directions, we offer the heart shaped bowl as a spirit plate. And to the ancestors and to spirit, we offer a food offering. We were meant to have strawberries. But cookie for the <laughs> <laughs> I bought the big box. So, yeah, I know. You see, the, the strawberry is used because it's the feminine fruit. If you cut the strawberry in half and look at it, you see the womb. 
And that's why we have strawberries at ceremony, so we don't have them today. <laughs> so she <laughs> to remind me when I got in this car. And we also have, also bring sweets for the child spirits. Hmm. I brought those. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I am going to offer a prayer to the seven directions. And I offer tobacco to the fire to each of those directions. And I'll play my flute at the end of each direction. And while I'm playing my flute, if you could put one of those candies into the heart-shaped bowl. I, I really do wish we had strawberries. <laughs> <laughs> so if you could kneel beside the, the ribbons <clears throat> that you see here are the first four directions. They are called the four directions. East is yellow, south is red, black is west, and white is north. If you have four candles <clears throat> and you light and they're colored, those colors, and you light that flame, that flame is one color. That is our spirit flame. The four directions represent the four races of man, and let's not forget, woman, man and woman. Where did we start with this man thing, right? Is it 4,000 years ago? I think so. Man, man, man. Did they forget about the woman? It's time to remember the woman. The songs tell us this. You'll hear the songs teaching. the east, it is the color yellow. It is that rising sun. It is that birth. It is that new dawn, that new day, that new beginning. It is the element of air, and it is a hawk. It is the eagle. We call on the power and spirits of that eastern direction to join us here today, to help us heal the planet. We're going to share a great show. <laughs> I'm not going to let it go. Through. I know. <laughs> you can take it back to Canada with you. Oh, I will. <laughs> oh, no, you can't. They won't let them off. You don't want to wait. We had a waste. <laughs> what the hell? They let me across the border. <laughs> As I look to the south, it is the color red. It is the element of fire. It is the humble mouse. It is adolescence in our lifetime. We call on the power and spirits of that southern direction to join us here today to help us heal the planet and each other. The witch, the witch, shame the witch. Yo.
As I look to the west, it is the color black. It is that setting sun welcoming the nighttime sky. It is the medicine path. It is the black bear. It is the crow. It is the raven. It is the element of water. The call on the power and spirits of the western direction. It is adulthood in our lifetime. We call on the power of spirits of the western direction to join us here today to help us heal the planet and each other. We wish we would shame that you Red for strawberries? That's a good thing. We'll get around this somehow. Um, <laughs> and 
imagine the world if we had that. How you doing? You okay? touch the earth. The fifth direction is Mother Earth. It is that oneness. It is that grain of sand. It is that pebble. It is the four leggeds. It is the crawling ones, the swimming ones. It's the plants. It's the trees. And it's the two leggeds. That oneness. The energy and spirit of a tree and a stone and a grain of sand. The energy is everywhere. I call on the power and spirits of the Earth Mother tonight to help us heal her and our seven billion brothers and sisters on the planet. McGlitch, McGlitch, Shem McGlitch, Yoho. I think she deserves three. What do you think? <laughs> Mother Earth, Father Sky, my truth, my truth. Remember what I said before about my truth, Mother and Father God. Why shouldn't it be that way? 
what is the whole basis of our culture, our society, no matter where on the planet is a mother and father nurturing her children. And think of how mother and father nurtures us with the miracles, the miracles of rain and weather. And when we talk about miracles, that seed is a miracle. Have you ever really looked at a butterfly? A monarch butterfly, or any butterfly, the amazing beauty, the artwork of that butterfly. We can only emulate such beauty. And the beauty is everywhere. And you need to see the beauty in everything. We need to see hardships as blessings because they will make you stronger. Welcome and face them. Mother and father. I can't count past six, so this could be a problem. You'll have to prompt me on the flu to a seven, okay? This is the last and final direction. It's the one of the most important. They're all important. This one, the seventh direction, is there. It's in your heart. You are the creator. You are the co-creator. Your thoughts have power. Your thoughts have energy. The law of attraction, the universal law of attraction, be cognizant of your thoughts, emotions, you can create everything we're talking about here tonight with our thoughts. Negativity. There's no room for it. Because negativity spreads. But negativity cannot compete with a positive thought. And you can turn any anything in your life into a positive thought. It's your attitude. How do you look at that? Be the co-creator of the world we want to create. And every one of you have that power to do it. And you might say to yourself, how do I co-create a world of peace and love? How do we learn to walk? One step at a time. Start with the simple thing. Get up tomorrow, and you can change somebody's life. Get up tomorrow and say, you know what, that random act of kindness is coming out of my pocket today, and I'm going to give it. I'm going to stand for five seconds and hold that door for some person coming up who I've never met before. And I'm going to smile, and I'm going to look in that person's eyes, and I'm going to smile. <laughs> See, she feels good. You just spread that positivity, that thought, that love, that emotion. What have you done? That woman, that person that received that thought, that positive emotion, is going to go to the next person and smile and open the door. How's it feel? Good. Good. That's the creation of our world. It's one person at a time. Keep it simple. Stupid. We call on the power and spirits of each and every one of you to join us here tonight and leave here tonight with that power. We glitch. Shannon glitch. Yo. Did I even introduce myself, by the way? <laughs> I didn't, did I? Oh, I introduced myself to you. My name's Tony. Pleased to meet you. I just said stupid a little while ago. It fits, doesn't it? Called sacred self.
sevens. Think about how many sevens are safe. The seven chakras, the seven colors of the rainbow. I met Fuki October 28th on the shores of Lake Ontario. It's October, did I say October 28th? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I read the, the description for today's ceremony and it said standing up. And I'm thinking, yeah. She got that because on Lake Ontario there was no place to sit and we stood up. But that night, all I was meant to do was create a sacred fire. Because the person running the event, who was a good friend of mine, said, we're going to have a sacred fire. We're going to cook hot dogs and marshmallows on this sacred fire. <laughs> and I said, you know, Chris, maybe I should come. And I'll, I'll look after a sacred fire for you. That's all I was going to do. Anyway, Chris asked me if I would do something. So I did something. And Cookie was there. <laughs> and it was a very abbreviated ceremony. Except, did, I, did we do the seven songs? I don't even remember. We sang some. We sang some? Okay. And Cookie calls me up and says, we'd like you to do a ceremony in Rochester. And she gave me the address. Seven, seven, seven. She didn't even get it out of her mouth. And I, I'll be there. <laughs> Gifting is a big part of the native culture. For me, gifts are sacred. It's a, it's a change of energy, and it's a positive energy. And the gift doesn't have to be much to make it sacred. To each and every one of you tonight, I'm going to gift you with a clear force crystal. And these crystals have been at many ceremonies, if you believe in magic, and I know you all do believe in magic, there's a power in what the Earth Mother gives us. 
what I'm about to place in your left hand is well over a million years old. The exchange of a gift, it's so simple. It's so positive. Imagine if you get the perfect strangers or something. Cookie, even though you forgot the strawberries, I'm still going to give you this gift. I don't deserve it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
Thank you.